Hello, Glory Day people. My name is Katie LeClaire, the Director of Youth and Family Faith Formation at Glory Day Lutheran in St. Paul, Minnesota. I have your announcements for December 2016, and I wrote them on some very powerful point slides, PowerPoint slides. I'm going to send you this in an email, but you're welcome to watch the video because it's fun. And I got my fidget in case I get a little distracted. That's why. Okay, for December, we have a, a fun month planned because we're meeting just for two Wednesday nights and a couple Sundays. So December, we're meeting on the 7th and the 14th, and here's what's happening on those nights. Both of those nights are normal for 7th and 8th grade small groups, continue as normal. We're doing, uh, our, we're finally in the New Testament for our Bible year, so that means we're talking about Jesus as a human, we did that yesterday, and then we're talking about Jesus as God, Jesus the divine, and then Jesus as our friend on the 14th. On the 7th, 10th graders are meeting with the uh, friends from Mount Zion here, 545 dinner, please come, we're having homemade pizza, yum. And then you're going to the sanctuary at 630 to 730 for your interfaith dialogue. Uh, ninth graders will meet in your small groups on the 7th. And then on the 14th, it's a mentor night for high school. And like I said, regular for 7th and 8th grade. Then we're off on the 21st and the 28th. And we're back in January, which I'll tell you about in a little bit. These are random announcements. Oh, uh, on the, I'm looking at my calendar, the 4th of January, um, we're finishing a movie in Sunday school at 930 in the Youth Center. It is about the life story of Dorothy Day. It's a great movie. It's about 10 years old, but it's pretty good, called Entertaining Angels. And if you weren't here last week, we'll get you caught up on that. But come on over. We're just going to finish the movie, and I have candy. And you can bring something else if, besides candy if you don't want to. Um, as far as the 11th and the 18th for Sunday school, we don't meet on the 25th, obviously, or on the 1st of January, but um, just come over and uh, we'll have some stuff planned. I think one of those days we're learning about the Guatemala trip that just happened in October and November, and I got some other stuff, but we always have Sunday school for grades 7 through 12. Not a whole lot of people are able to make it, but if you're not helping with the little kids, please come. Next is your lesson guides. For Wednesday nights, if you are a parent who, for whatever reason, hasn't been able to get your teen here for some of the weeks, our lesson guides are online, and it's fun to just check in and make sure that you're up to date on the content. You can't replicate a lot of the group activities, but it's fun to just take a look at what they're learning. And so if you're just curious about what they're learning about, you can ask them. It's a great way to have faith formation in the home. Otherwise, if they had to miss a week, just check over the scripture verses so they're caught up with their groups. Sunday school. I just said that. Huh. Project Home begins today, the 1st of December. For the entire month, we are looking pretty good on volunteers. I have to say I'm, I'm pretty impressed for Pastor Javen's sake because it's his project um, to help coordinate. But... Yay, but we're still looking for some people, particularly overnights. And who doesn't want to sleep in the church overnight? Come on, you bring your blow up mattress. You can dream about Jesus and the angels and fun things. And yeah, we still need some hosts. So check out that link. I'll put that in the email. And it's kind of fun. It's kind of like Bethlehem around here today. Everybody's moving in. Up, up. Kansas City. We're going to Kansas City. And I have the date right here on my calendar. June 25th through July 1st, Kansas City, Missouri. It's a service learning trip with Youth Works. Our trip to Savannah is full. Our Savannah, Georgia trip, which is at the end of July. Um, but we're we're looking to book up our, our Kansas City trip. So um, grades, if you're currently in grades 6 through 12, you're eligible to go for the trip. It's a pretty affordable trip. It's just, it's, a, it's about a week long. We're going to leave on Sunday. We're going to get back on Saturday. And it's going to be fantastic. So if you're interested in that, sign up now because now's the time. Man, we're doing fundraising and it's going to be your best opportunity to save money. And $100 gets you signed up for that. Actually, we have a payment due at the end of December, but we'll get you in here. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link to that in the email. J term. It's January. What we do during January is for all parents, grandparents, 
mentors, small group leaders, and teenagers in confirmation. But of course, 11th and 12th graders are, will, are willing. They're welcome to come, invited. We're going to invite the whole church to a four-week event here called BYO Bible. Bring your own Bible. We're going to celebrate the 500th anniversary of the Reformation by opening the scriptures. It's a, it's a chance for us to say we handle the scriptures, literally, meaning we handle them. We look at, at, the, at the book. We're going to give you some ideas for scripture study, both in your personal life and in group work. It won't be boring. It'll be highly interactive. Our pastors are going to lead us. I get to do a session and invite your friends. Um, it's a family event. We expect parents to be here those weeks with with your student, and then we invite the mentors and small group leaders too. It's a it's going to be really good, and you are going to bring your Bible that week. Whatever Bible you have, you're going to bring it, and we're going to um, do something that we don't always get to do here: is actually look at the book and let God's Word change our lives. So that's J term. That happens the whole month of January, starting with I will tell you January fourth, and then it's the eleventh, eighteenth, and twenty fifth. Okay. So that's what's coming up for January. I'm so organized right now. Okay, we got acolytes. People, help me out for uh, what we got there. Um, Christmas Eve is a Saturday. We are meeting for worship four times that day. It is 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 8 and 10.30. Okay, and we need acolytes and ushers. And you can sign up through the ministry scheduler just like you always do. And we need acolytes and ushers for Christmas Day, which is a Sunday, and New Year's Day. We're just meeting at 10 a.m. for that. So I hope that that works for you, and I hope you're able to um, help out. Um, there are going to be six acolytes at the two later services because there's some extra steps. And if you sign up for one of those services, there will be a mandatory rehearsal because there's some extra things we do with acolytes during that time. But help us out. Don't wait to sign up. Just get signed up for that. Um, it's not something we're automatically signing people up for anymore. I just did that. Oh, I have that in there twice. It's December. That one didn't look very good. It looks like a big potato <gasps> or a chipotle burrito. Oh, we must be done. I think you're great. I am praying for all of you. Please pray for us and the ministry that we're doing here. Let us know how we can help you during this crazy time of year. It doesn't have to be crazy time of year. Take some time out. I'll give you a suggestion in our email about a photo a day challenge that we're some of us are per 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 participating in called Rethink Advent. And that's wonderful, wonderful. So I think you're great. Have a nice life. <laughs>